Hey guys, what is going on? Randall Thor19, the man with the million, bringing you my first real opinion piece on my YouTube channel. I know I do a lot of reviews and stuff like that, and I wanted to talk about a subject that myself, Maka, and Tim Dog talked about on Monday night during TXR Podcast. If you guys didn't know, I'm the host of a podcast Monday nights on the TXR Podcast channel. I'll have the link to that podcast in the description if you want to check it out. It was a really good show. During it, we talked about the idea that Microsoft needs to bite the bullet and fund sequels for some of the new IPs they've been trying to put out this gen. And this is a, a, a topic that I had a lot to say about and is near and dear to me, right? I think... Microsoft is relying too much on Gears of War, on Forza, on Halo. You know, they used to also rely on Fable, but that's not around anymore. At least, you know, not right now because Legends was canceled. And Microsoft has been putting out pretty good new IPs, funding new IPs. And I know people will say, well, Ori in the Blind Forest is probably going to get a sequel. And, and it should because it's a great game. But I want to talk about some of the other games this gen that haven't got a sequel. Namely, Rise, Son of Rome, Sunset Overdrive, and the, more than likely there will be no sequel for Quantum Break, and who knows with ReCore that's up in the air. And my point is I think that regardless, if, if Rise didn't make any money, if Sunset Overdrive made money but didn't make profit or whatever, at some point, I think because this is my opinion, that Microsoft should just bite the bullet on that and make a sequel. How deep does this thing go? Sunset Over uh, the fact that there's not... A, I'm not playing Sunset Overdrive 2 right now on my Xbox One bothers me. The fact that there isn't a Rise Son of Rome, c considering it was a really good launch game, and launch games are kind of, you know, you hit or miss, bothers me. The fact that Quantum Break comes out doesn't sell particularly too well. We know Remedy is already busy off doing Crossfire and another project, and they're not working with Microsoft anymore, so more than likely, there will be no sequel to Quantum Break. That bothers me. The fact that ReCore, from all accounts, is not selling particularly well, with the possibility of not getting a sequel, bothers me, because it presents this notion that why should anybody get hyped up for any of the games or any of the new IPs that Microsoft puts out if there's not going to be a follow-up? Why should I get excited about Scalebound when history tells me that there'll be no follow-up to Scalebound, especially if they're in the, you know, on a cliffhanger or Sea of Thieves? And let's go back to Sunset Overdrive. I know, you know, the story behind it, uh, you know, they didn't want to make a sequel or whatever it is. But the thing is, Microsoft is a company where they could make it worth Insomniac's while to do the game. Insomniac is what doing now? They did Song in the Deep. They're doing a bunch of VR games. They're doing a Spider-Man game for, for, for Sony. Remember, this was before this gen started. They went independent. Well, they were always independent, but they signed a deal with Microsoft because Sony wouldn't let them own their IP, their own IPs, and Microsoft was willing to fund Sunset Overdrive. I understand the game didn't sell as much as it should, but the point is, is they should have bit the bullet and funded a sequel to that game and made it worth Insomniac's while to do so because you never know how a sequel can go. And in most cases, a lot of cases, the sequel is sometimes better than the original. Uncharted, which is probably, most PlayStation fans would say, the best uh, PlayStation franchise, you know, the most well-known, you know, the one that's highest on Metacritic, by all accounts, Uncharted 1 wasn't very good. What if Sony had just given up right then and there? Right then and there and said, you know what? We're not doing Un Uncharted 2. But they kept on doing it. And they kept on doing it. Now it's the flagship franchise for Sony. Microsoft could do the same. Why isn't there a Sunset Overdrive 2? The game could have been a lot better. I mean, I understand Sunset Overdrive 1. Uh, 
was a basic, you know, collect-a-thon, third-person, on-rails type of game. And it was a great game. But imagine, just imagine what they could do with the sequel, right? Just imagine what Crytek could have done with, a, you know, a proper development time for Rise. Because the rumors were going around that that game was in development hell for a long time. Because it was supposed to be a Kinect game, supposed to be a 360 game. And that game turned out to be pretty good. Imagine if they were given a proper time and budget and said, "You're here's what you're targeting. You're targeting the Xbox One. We should have Rise Son of Rome 2 right now, right? That could have been Microsoft's God of War franchise. And that's another thing that, you know, kind of gets to me sometimes, is the fact that Microsoft relies way too much on their core franchises. Forza, Halo, Gears. Just repeat that mantra over and over again. Forza, Halo, Gears. Forza, Halo, Gears. There's been, I don't know how many Halo games. I mean, Halo 5 just came out, but there's been spin-offs, right? Uh, Gears 4 just came off. I mean, it's like five games. Like, at some point, it's hard to get excited for those games. But I would be really excited for Rise Son of War, or, you know, Rise Son of Rome 2 because it's new, or Sunset Overdrive 2, or the fact that Quantum Break. I mean, imagine how good, and I, I really like Quantum Break, don't get me wrong, but if they could have went back to, to do a second one, refine the gameplay more, right? Did more things, maybe have a horde mode. The, the possibilities are endless, right? Look at ReCore, a game that was maligned because of its engine it was using in the low times and it would be a shame because the game was quite fun regardless of its technical limitations if Microsoft was like no sorry you're not doing another one well what if they did another one and it was really good because the devs got to understand what they were doing more and the loading was fixed and they came into their own that's my point because it's starting to get a little frustrating sometimes when they present these new IPs from Microsoft. Microsoft's like, here, get excited for Scalebound, get excited for this and get excited for that. But then in the back of your mind, you're thinking to yourself, man, should I even bother? Because part of me thinks Scalebound is going to be it. There will be no Scalebound 1. And I understand, like, it's a business. They have to sell copies, right? I get it. I understand that, but I'm just saying sometimes you have to just be like, you know what? We have to do a sequel. Because you don't want people to lose faith. If every single new IP that comes out from Microsoft, or for, and this goes for Sony and Nintendo, if, if, they, if those games come out and they continually don't get sequels year after year after year, people just won't give a shit, you know, down the road. They'll be like, oh, okay, so you're going to, you know, what was that that stealth game that the Coalition was making before Gears? Uh, Shanghai. You know, they announced Shanghai for 2019, and it's like, we haven't had a sequel for any of the new IPs. Uh, why should we get excited for it? Well, you know, why should I invest my time and energy getting excited for a game when it's just a one-off? Like, Quantum Break left on a cliffhanger. It w there could be a sequel. I haven't finished ReCore, but I'm assuming... It probably lends well to a sequel. I mean, look at the game I'm, I'm showing a clip of is Titanfall, right? Now, Titanfall got a sequel. EA was like, we're doing Titanfall 2. And, and because of that, because of their faith in the franchise, we got one of the best shooter campaigns in a long time. One of the best first-person shooter campaigns in a long time. But imagine... If EA was like, wasn't happy with the sales of the game and they just canceled it, we wouldn't have got to experience this game. And I know some people will say, well, Rand, I didn't really care for the tech test. That's the tech test. You didn't play the full game. You haven't played uh, what the multiplayer is now. So, I mean, I get it. Like, you, you don't want to spend your money on it. Fine, whatever. But my point is that they funded the game and look what we got. We got a sequel that has one of the best campaigns yet. What is Titanfall 3 going to be like? I don't know, but I, I, I want it and, it. and it saddens me to see that we may not get it because of the low sales. Because after seeing what they did, I want to see what they're going to do more. And that's my whole point. I want to see what Insomnia could do with Sunset Overdrive 2. I want to see what Crytek could have done with Rise of Son of Rome 2. Oh, man, come on. Just thinking about those potential games gets me excited. I want those games. Well, anyways, guys. I hope you liked the video. I will see you all later.